Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about Final Space Season 3, Episode 11. Uh, we'll talk about a couple other little things going on with Final Space. I'm probably going to make a, another video uh, coming this coming Thursday, uh, most likely, to try to give you some more updates about what may or may not happen with Season 4. Uh, what we know as of right now is the last two episodes, so episode 12 and 13 of season 3, they are getting pushed back to a later time, uh, which is not good. Uh, usually that means that the show is not doing well, they're pushing it back to a later time uh, to see if en enough of the fans will watch it during that time uh, or not. Um, obviously something that's going to hurt season three right now is that it's only on TV. TBS isn't advertising it, as I mentioned before. Uh, Adult Swim isn't really advertising it, as I mentioned before. You don't really see any ads anywhere on YouTube or other places of the internet, etc. So I think what's going to happen is there's a good possibility that Final Space is going to probably get cancelled for TV, but I think Netflix is going to pick it up. Uh, the reason I say Netflix is going to pick up is because every time that it got released to Netflix, every time a season of Final Space got released to Netflix, my videos skyrocketed, meaning a lot more people were watching Final Space when it was actually on Netflix and other streaming platforms as opposed to just TV. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. But as again, I'll probably talk a little bit more in depth with that uh, going on to... Um, the Thursday video. We'll, we'll see um, what I do there, and we'll just go from there. So, uh, Lord Commander, in the beginning of this episode, kills Bolo. Like, within two seconds. Bolo is dead. Like, you, you think, oh, he just got stabbed, he's probably fine. No, Bolo's head literally gets ripped off. So all of that effort, all of that time to get Bolo, you know, he's supposed to be killing all of these Titans, he's dead. Bolo is just dead. So Lord Commander starts going after the team squad, trying to kill them, you know, hurting their ship, damaging their ship. They do manage to light full to get out of there, uh, only to be struck by a bunch of Invictus infected zombie Garys, and that's a problem. Uh, Quinn and Avocado have a thing going on where it was basically like, great, now we're all going to die because of Quinn. At least that's Avocado's, like, thinking. Uh, he was like, I'm going to die, my son's going to die, all of us are going to die, all of us have final space sickness, you know, that finally came about that everybody does have final space sickness, minus Quinn, obviously, because of the implant. Uh, so it's almost like we're unfolding the story that we've already been told, where everybody's going to die except for Quinn. Um, because we have no idea where the gate is to get to Earth. Uh, Avocado's like, yeah, you know, who cares about the Titans and all this? We could have lived a little longer. That would have been nice. And it's just kind of a giant mess, unfortunately. Um, you know, it's, it's like we're, we're watching everything fail, everything they tried doing fail, you know, it's like you, you think one thing's gonna work and then everything just consistently keeps failing. The only different factor is when, uh, you know, all the other Garys closed the breach, Gary died, um, as opposed to Gary living this time. So that, that's the only difference. Gary, Gary being alive is the only difference. But what, what are they going to do? You know, they have Lord Commander as a Titan that's coming after him. They have Invictus coming after him. Uh, they have Mooncake, which is pretty powerful. And they also have Ash. But Ash doesn't know what the heck she's doing either. Uh, in part of the episode, Ash kind of gets taken over by a bunch of zombie Garys. She's, you know, Invis Invictus is whispering into her ears. And uh, she's literally watching Cheryl kind of die in front of her. And there's nothing she can do about it. Thankfully, Cheryl, you know, comes back for the win, kills the zombie Garys that are taking over the ship and tearing apart the ship. And uh, she kind of smacks her on the face and gets her back um, in, into commission. So we still don't even know where Ash is standing because Ash may be with Invictus. Ash may be with Gary. She's kind of a neutral party right now um, where she's kind of all in it for herself. And um, obviously she doesn't want to see her friends die. So that, that may be the one thing that's motivating her um, as well. She doesn't agree with Quinn about leaving Final Space. She's like, Nightfall would never go from a fight. And then... Gary's like, you know, well, this is Nightfall. You know, this the, the, this is what becomes Nightfall. Quinn is Nightfall, and we're going to become Nightfall. And, uh, yeah, you know, who's going to know better than her? So, and that's kind of where the episode ends. Um, we do also get to see a zombie Gary get Invictus taken out of him by Ash. So now Ash has the ability to get Invictus out of things, which I think that's going to be play an important role in the next couple of episodes. Uh, she, there was one zo zombie Gary left. Gary said kill her. And then little Kato was like, wait, maybe we'll get some sort of cool master clue. Um, and they don't really get a master clue. The, the only clue they get is that uh, Gary is alive. So that means something must be different this time. 
Um, we also get to see a bunch of Earths. So for every single Gary that went in final space and died, an Earth also got trapped in final space. So that potentially means that there is a crap ton of Titans ready to hatch and Invictus has like a never ending army from all these different timelines. Um, at least that's what it seems like, you know, that, that's kind of where we ended it. But uh, we end with the ship getting back online, Hugh scanning for, for the portal and saying, well, I found the portal, but we don't know if it's active. So I'm guessing they're just going to try to get out of the portal. Um, however, we also see Lord Commander and Invictus having some nice little squirmishes where Invictus is like, look, this wasn't the deal. You were supposed to get Mooncake first, and then I was going to make you a Titan. But no, Lord Commander went out of his way to become a Titan before, you know, you know, Invictus. And he was like, you don't realize where you stand anymore. It's, it's like, I got what I wanted. You're, you're into the bargain. Hold up. I don't work for you anymore. I don't care about you anymore. And uh, Invictus sends a bunch of Titans after him. He killed Bolo very easily. So that just shows how powerful the Lord Commander is in Titan form. And... Uh, he just killed like an army of titans. So I think what may happen here is because the Lord Commander doesn't die in this particular instance, I think he may be the one that ends up killing Invictus. As weird as that sounds, um, I think it is a possibility. So if slash when we get a season four, I think what's going to happen is that Lord Commander and possibly Mooncake and Ash are going to team up, kill Invictus, get that taken care of, and then because, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend that is going to go away and then the lord commander is going to try to take over the universe by himself and then season four will probably be all about stopping the lord commander uh kind of like season one was where they were trying to stop uh the lord commander kill the lord commander things along those lines at least that's where i think it's going to end i'm not really sure um it doesn't seem like this is gonna get wrapped up all with pretty and a nice little bow in the next couple of episodes there's definitely going to be room for a season four but the question is will we get that season four um and as i said i'll try to touch I'll, I'll try to do a separate video about whether or not we're going to get a season four for this coming thursday so that way you get some more information there i want to research into it a little bit more as well because i don't want to give you misinformation on the topic but uh the, the, those are my thoughts is that invictus is probably we're probably going to end this with invictus dying them getting out of final space the lord commander and titan form also getting out of final space um or there's also the possibility that the second the lord commander gets out of final space and invictus is dead because invictus brought him back to life that he may die instantly so i mean, I mean it may be a happy ending yet uh, but we don't really know. You know, Invictus is uh, promising Ash, oh, you know, you can you can live with Fox again. I can bring Fox back. I have that ability. So it's it's definitely tempting for Ash to go team up with Invictus against the Lord Commander. I could also see that happening, where Lord Commander ends up dying, and then uh, all the Titans hatch from all the different Earths, and then the entire universe just gets blown up. So I mean, it, it is a possibility. They may kind of end it similarly to Game of Thrones, where it's not going to be a happy ending. Everybody's not going to like the ending of it. Gary is going to die. And it is just going to, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of going to be like, enjoy the, the ride while it lasts. Where Gary ends up dying, everything ends up coming to part uh, where it has in the past. There's not going to be any difference. Quinn is going to become Nightfall. And we're just going to see everything pan out that way. I think that's also a possibility. So uh, don't fall in love with any characters. Uh, there is a real possibility that everyone is going to die. Quinn's the only one going to be alive. Because she is ultimately is the only one that's not infected with Final Space. Uh, Biscuits seem to play a semi-important role in here. It was kind of cute. You know, he's mentioned like the gift shop and stuff. A little bit of a comedic relief in the episode as well. Good to see him actually getting some screen time. Because he was like in all the previews and stuff. You know, the cute little guy. And um, you're just ripping stuff apart, talking about a gift shop. I don't know if that was a plug to like sell some of their merchandise. I don't know how the merchandise sales are uh, with Final Space. I see a lot of people buying Mooncake plushies. I, I've thought about it, I'll be honest. I, I have thought about buying me a Mooncake plushie. Um, there was a statue at one point that um, I thought was going to get made, but they never made it. So that was kind of sad. It was like a really cool statue with Gary and Mooncake. I think Quinn was in the background or something too. But uh, they have some Funk Pops or vinyl some something similar if you're interested in buying some final space merchandise we'll see you know i got final space has a sp little special place in my heart being the uh the first show that i reviewed here on youtube about, about three years ago I've, I've been on i've had this channel open for about three years so that's definitely interesting I interesting there that i've been do doing it so long we'll see how it goes still trying to hit that thousand subscriber mark 
still trying to get monetized. We'll keep going for a little while. Uh, we'll keep going for a little while still. We're definitely going to finish out the shows uh, that I have been reviewing. So you can at least look forward to me reviewing the shows that are, are currently ongoing on the channel. You know, your My Hero Academia, uh, your Dr. Stone, Ray Zero, things along those lines. Uh, let me know what your comments are in the key. Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and leave a like as well. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, and as always, have a good one.